time to go see what the this campaign is about. So what God's forsaken corner of the realm is Sid dragging you off to this I don't know. time? Oriflam. The holy capital. And what business would you lot have in on second thoughts? I don't wanna <laughs> know. Uh what the fuck? Oh, <laughs> that confused me for a second. I was like, what is this window? <laughs> um There's a lot of things I can sell, like a lot of these. They're used for crafting. That's why I'm keeping everything, because I don't really know. Uh, oh whoa. Wait. Wait, what? It gradually, f it gradually fills the limit break for 30 seconds. So does this mean that it fills your limit gauge faster? Because you have to fill your limit gauge by attacking enemies. But this sounds like it fills your limit gauge passively without attacking enemies. Which is actually quite nice because then you'll always have your limit gauge somewhat ready to go before you enter combat instead of trying to build it up. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool if that's how it is. Speaking of our it's pretty cool. I hear the trading routes leading south have seen more than double the usual traffic. Okay. If you ask me, some at Fowl's Brewing and a tin tires bore by LT. Oh, just go and see Otto, will ya? Alright. Dude, I don't know what it is, but I like—I feel like the freaking audio is like really low. Like the voice, the voice, the voiceover is like—it seems really low. Also, I know you guys hate seeing this probably, but I switched my uh, upscaling to balance just to get better performance, cause you know I need it. <laughs> And the graphics look pretty much exactly the same as quality. Like, I don't really notice anything, honestly, really anything different. Also, I do have these cords now. So we got this one. History. There's got to be an achievement for filling this out. There has to be. Acquired during the main story. Acquired during the main story. Purchase. Per okay. Found in a treasure cop. Oh my god. There's got to be an achievement, man. It has to be. Take a seat, Clive. I'll fetch you a bowl of brown. Okay. So you're really going through with it? Since we've been talking about bringing down a mother crystal, since I've known it. But that's all it's ever been. Talk. He's convinced it's the right thing to do. We'll be leaving for the capital shortly. <sighs> well, you couldn't have picked a better moment. Seems the eye in the royalist gave him wasn't enough to dampen old Sylvester's spirits. His legions are on the march again. This time, due south. Another war. All as the great Grieger wills it. Bloodthirsty little miss, that one. Well, that's God's for you, innit? Still, might work to our advantage on this occasion. Wars breed chaos. On the front lines, and at home. With a fair wind behind them, a handful of like-minded ne'er-do-wells could melt into the back alleys of Oriflam. No trouble. Is making it to the capital that's the problem. The checkpoint. That's right. Anyone traveling in or out of Oriflam has to go through Northreach. Lucky for you, I might just know of a way. This. Well, no, not that. That gets you an audience with the Dane. And it's the Dane who'll see you safely through Northreach. I'll send a Stolas in the morning, let her know you're coming. We go way back, and she's a true friend of the cause. I'm sure you'll get on like a house on fire. 
That's good of you, but who is this dame, and where will I find her? She's the proud proprietress of Northreach's foremost house of ill repute. The Vale. And she's quite a woman, if you know what I mean. A woman. Right. <laughs> Don't go blind, you know, with your charm now, lad. I'll be expecting a full report when you get back. Sounds good. Why is he looking at me? <laughs> Alien reports unlocked. Oh, that's probably what he just found this guy. Okay, alien reports are now available for viewing by speaking to... Oh. Gayuda? Gayut? <laughs> what are these freaking non-English names? <laughs> okay. These reports compiled by the... The Curse Breaker contain information on quests currently available across Valesia. Valesia? Okay. I suppose that's everything. Also, I don't know that's what it is, man, but the audio in this game is weird. Visual alerts. Oh. Ew. Gross. <laughs> Music is already pretty loud when I'm in combat. I might turn it up though. Oh, you're the new lad, aren't you? Goat at your service. Oh, yeah. Well, at the hideaway service anyway. Otto's put me in charge of reading through the reports sent in by our allies and picking out any problems that might warrant the attention curse of the curse breakers. breakers. Or any other willing volunteers. And there's no shortage of problems, I can tell you. <laughs> well, maybe I don't have to. I'll warrant a strapping lad like you who's got people begging him for help wherever you go. Anyway, if you're ever interested in taking a look over the list, just say the word. Reckon you could probably tick off the odd thing here and there. They say little acts of kindness are their own reward. But if that ain't enough, these have got proper bounties on them and all. Did he say his name was Gout? View reports. Quick look. Using Gout's alien reports to find new quests around, but also travel immediate to, to the obelisk waypoint near this location. So I have two side quests available. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, there's even quests here. So this pretty much tells me exactly where quests are and if I even have any available. That's super, super cool. And you can teleport straight to them. That's really cool. Seen enough? Apparently I have quests available. As you can see on my map. That's really cool actually. Super, super cool feature. I kind of want to do those as well. I feel like, like, what would happen if I, I don't know. I really hope quests don't disappear. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, if something bad happens to this place or anywhere I go and there's quests in that place, like that town I was in. If there was side quests there, which there was, and I did them, but if I didn't do those side quests, now that the town is destroyed and the people are dead, can I still do those quests? That's what I'm trying to explain here. Like, what if something happens to this place? Can I still do those quests, even though I haven't done them? I really, I'm worried about that, because I want to do the quests. Well, 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 someone's in a hurry. Just following orders. Funny, I never took you for the type. Can't all be as obedient as you, Gav. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is it 30 FPS now? Okay, we're back. Fine day for a little mischief, wouldn't you say? Cool. Is this all of us? Actually, Gav won't be coming. 
Just the three of us, then. Drake's head is the keystone of the Empire. Oriflam's in chaos, yes, but that doesn't mean we can march an army through her gates. The fewer our numbers, the better our chances of going unnoticed. And should that plan fail, well, we have our icons to fall back on. Oh, he doesn't have one, does he? Sid, I... I don't know if I can. If Reed still seems to... come and go as he pleases. Ordinarily, Prime and Icon comes naturally to a dominance. But then, you are no ordinary dominance. Well, he's still got the blessing of the Phoenix, doesn't he? <laughs> Not to mention what he sucked out of Garuda. Yep. And did I ever tell you about how he was once the greatest shield in Rosaria? You know, I reckon he could probably cause a path out of the capital on his own if need be. Let's try not to find out. We're less likely to be spotted if we travel separately. I'll meet you in Northridge in a few days. You two be right now. <laughs> Dude, Sid is so funny in this game. I love his character. Dude, I really hope I can come back and do these side quests, man. Oh, wait. <laughs> We're going there? Okay. <laughs> okay. I guess we can, uh... I might just have to do the side quests. While doing my campaign mission. So, we're meeting in Northreach. And will I find Sid and Jill before this dame finds me? But, you know, edit out the side quests. So I could do that. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. See how long this mission is gonna be. Six hundred. Holy shit! Damn. How far? Six hundred. We should probably just go here. There we go. Ah, oh, yes. I'm fine. Go away. It's freaking beautiful out here, man. Wait, wasn't this gate locked earlier? Because <laughs> I think I came up here before. Oh, look how pretty this is. Okay, I feel like the music does need to be turned up a bit because I can hear it, but it's not quite, you know. Let's go 55. Cause every time I go into battle, the music goes up even higher in volume, so. This is so fucking pretty. There. North Reach. Chocobos! The soldiers used to speak of the brothel. But that was north of the checkpoint. Okay. I hope the dame has friends in the south. Whoa. Oh, another obelisk. A moment, my lady. A moment. <laughs> I doubt you could afford even that much of my oh, time. Okay, Jesus. Branded. My mistake. <laughs> no, mine. Upon reflection, you don't have the scent of a branded about okay. you. Okay. Why is the flowers? Otto always did know how to please me. 
more than Sid ever did anyway. She's got a fancy outfit. Do you think you could please me, Clive? What? You're the dame. Let us leave such impersonal titles to my less preferred clientele. You can call me Isabel. Otto assured me I could trust you. I can trust you. Dude, her outfit is really colorful. You can trust me, yes, but... Why would you... Help you? Because that's what we do. Long ago, Sid did me a kindness when no one else would. I have never forgotten that. Without it, I would not be where I am today. And so, I make it a point to do the same whenever possible. Which brings us here. To the final obstacle between you and whatever it is you seek in the holy capital. I fear the guards are not likely to let a masterless bearer pass unmolested. Unless... Unless... <laughs> Unless, of course, his master deign to appear. Yes. That will do nicely. This chick is weird. <laughs> but I shall expect a favor in return. Good God. Wait, what? I'm so confused with that woman. Uh, okay. You're a potion man or two? What can I do for you? Okay, so you're pretty much like the same vendor, huh? Damn. And a fine, fine day to you. Is there anyone else here? You there? Fancy a drop of the Empire's finest? Okay. What the hell are you doing? Tut tut. We cannot have people thinking I tolerate disobedience from my branded. The men who gave me this are no more my masters than you are. But it's not as if I can hide it. From the moment you acquired it, that brand has done naught but take. But today, it is going to give you exactly what you want. Just play along. What do you mean by that? Madame, back to the vial already. But of course, we must make ready to welcome you, my dear. And who might this be? Why, my new escort. The streets aren't safe for a girl, what with all the royalists about. <laughs> well, don't work him too hard. Well, that rather depends on you now, doesn't it? I'll see you all at sunset. Oi, hold up. <sighs> Another fucking branded. Oh, you're lucky you're with the dame. Now get out of my sight, filth. Jeez. That wasn't so bad. Wasn't so bad. They might have recognized me. But they didn't. And even if they had, they wouldn't have done anything about it. The gentlemen of the garrison are some of my best customers. We have an arrangement. As do you and I. Now, if you'd care to follow me, we can speak more at the Vale. Doesn't seem like I have much of a choice. Well then, 
I suppose you'll need a little something to remember me by. God, this place is really pretty. And if anyone requests her company, tell them she is feeling unwell. Madame, you look stunning. As do you, my dear. Shall I have one of the girls draw a bath? That won't be necessary. Clive, my darling. Welcome to the Vale. Thank you for seeing me through the gates, my lady. I am in your debt. Well, that was the whole point, wasn't it? And I told you, it's Isabel. Whatever wound you so tight, I wonder. It's certainly not Sid's influence. You, uh, mentioned a favor. What is it you'd have me do? I don't want to keep my companions waiting. If you mean Sid and the girl, you needn't worry. They have yet to reach the checkpoint. Yes, Otto asked me to help them as well. But to answer your question, I need you to find someone for me. One of my girls. Tatienne has been gone for several days now, having left no word of explanation. And I've begun to fear the worst. I feel as if I've spent my whole life searching for people. Though I can't say I'm any good at it. I trust you'll do your best. Oh, and take this. A seal? Proof of that trust. And hopefully enough to keep prying eyes from looking too closely at that handsome face of yours. <laughs> Dude, this lady's hitting on me, man. Now, I have matters to attend to at the Iron Flagon. If you find anything, ask for me there. I'm assuming that's like a seal so I don't get in trouble when I roam around the city. Kind of like it was in Witcher 3. I should probably start here. Okay. How? Oh my god, more side quests? Oh my god. Investigate. You wear the dame's brooch. She must trust uh -huh. you. Enough to help me look for one of your colleagues. A woman by the name of Tatienne. She's still missing then. Oh, if only I'd comforted her. You saw her before she disappeared? The day before. She was in tears. She'd lost her comb. A gift from the dame. It wasn't anything fancy, but you could tell it meant the world to her. You see, Tatienne was an orphan. And she looked upon the dame as a mother. As do we all. So she was upset. And I didn't lend her much older. But perhaps someone else did. Tatian shared a room. Her chambermaid may have seen something. She's over there, sitting by the pond. Thank you. Let's see what her chambermaid can do. Dude, I need then. a new headset. This one's like fucking breaking. Like my left ear headphone thingy is more dim than my right one. And I really hope it doesn't come up on my YouTube videos, but... <sighs> Can't do anything about it. So you're the new escort the girls have been talking about. And you've already been sent off on an errand, eh? Poor boy. You'll be knackered before the real work begins later on tonight. I'm... told you share a bedchamber with Tatienne. Did she... say anything to you... before? Before she went missing. Only that she needed to meet with someone. She did mention a name, but I know exactly who she meant. You do? Lad from the garrison. Annoying little shit. Spent every gill he earned on Tatienne and picked fights with anyone else who tried to buy her time. Followed her around like a lost puppy. Tatienne was flattered at first, but it didn't take long for her to get scared. She thought about saying something. But the dame was so proud of her for how much she was bringing in. You didn't want to let her down. This man from the garrison. Did you ever see him? Of course I did. 
He tried to sneak into our room enough times. Slimy sod's got a scar over one eye. Claims he got it in battle. You've been very helpful. Don't let him get away with this. Find him, and you'll find her. Okay. A man from the garrison. Seems a trip to the barracks is in order. I haven't seen you around the Vale of late. Oh my god. I'll come back later. I think I might see you tonight. This view. <laughs> this is so fucking pretty. So gorgeous. Wow. That is incredible. Another pet. Just looking for treasure chests, which I haven't seen any yet. Quest. I don't think there's any chests here. There's a lot of quests here, though, so that's gonna be like the next video. Good god. There's like four of them. Three. Yeah. Hello? Heard the bones fell favorably. To the veil, then. I'm looking for a man with a scar over his eye. Looking for a man? Does this look like a brothel branded? <laughs> Fuck off. Hold your tongue. He wears the dame's brooch. One word from him and the veil's doors will be barred to us for good. <sighs> There's only one man in the garrison with a dodgy eye. His name's Yannick. I haven't seen him around lately, though. On account of him being in war. Yeah, Yannick left a few days back. Said he had dealings with a merchant there. The dame thanks you. Moore is the last village on the road to Oriflam. I should let Isabel know where I'm headed. The music in the city is really quiet, but it sounds good though. Life. Tell me you bear good kind tidings. Of. That remains to be seen. Why is... Oh, Tatian, you could have told me. This Yannick. The soldiers I spoke to believe he's in the village of Moor. According to them, he claimed to have some business with a merchant there. But that wouldn't explain his continued absence. And you plan on traveling to Moor to ascertain the truth? Isn't that what you want? Oh, it, it is, but I fear sending you there may cause more harm than good. The people of Moor are rather set in their ways. You'll find they have little love for bearers, and they will not hesitate to report one such as you to the constabulary. There is a man in Moor who owes me a favor, more than one, in fact. His name is Bertrand, and he works at the stables. Tell him I send you. I shall return as soon as I find something. Okay, so it's all the way down there. How many bearers suffer to keep your granaries full? Okay, so those are actual, like, wild chocobos. Or whatever the fuck they are. They look like birds, but they also... They're chocobos. Dude, this is like just how open this is. It is so gorgeous. 
I do want to go over there as well, but uh, I think I might do that next video. This is just super, super pretty. Like, oh my god.